Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Marie. Today I'm going to be talking about the Dexcom CGM uh, known as the Continuous Glucose Monitor. And it is this device right here. I personally have the G4. Um, there is a G5 out on the market, but I um, received the G4 right before the G5 came out, so I decided to choose the G4. I'm going to be talking about my personal experience with the Dexcom. I have been on the Dexcom for 10 months, um, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to give three pros and then one con, because I honestly um, was trying to figure out some of the cons for this this device, but I just, I am so in love with the Dexcom that I, to me, the pros, you know, outweigh the cons. Oh, I just want to start out by saying these are my um, personal opinions, my thoughts and experiences. Um, I understand that not everyone will have the same experience, you know, with these medical devices as I, so that is just kind of a disclaimer. Like I said, um, you received the Dexcom. Um, receiver so this is the receiver and I chose pink because she pink is my favorite color uh, they have black and blue I think are the other colors on the market and then of course I'm wearing mine on my arm right now so this is the sensor and the sensor and then the transmitter right here if you'd like to see a video on how to insert this I have uh, in videos on my channel of how to insert the Dexcom so I'll just put that in the bottom bottom description below if you want to check those out. And then it comes with boxes of the um, sensors. So I get about three of these boxes every three months. And in this box, uh, um, it has four sensors that look like this. A more in-depth look on the actual sensor and stuff like that, you can go to my videos because I show how to uh, use those. Let's just get to the pros because I love the Dexcom so much. First pro, in my opinion, is that honestly, this the Dexcom is a lifesaver and this is because it detects lows. All right, so everyone out there with type one, um, hypoglycemia, lows are scary and can happen at any time, unexpected. You know, there's just so many things that go into having a low blood sugar. Dexcom is always attached and is always um, monitoring the uh, my blood sugars. So as you can see right now, it says it's 108 and the arrow is going downwards. So that means that my blood sugar is lowering. Now because it's only one arrow and it's not and it's only going to the side, it's not lowering a lot. So to me, that does not. Um, it does not scare me all right but I know that it's lowering and so I will check my blood sugar and I will have a small snack catered to that number the reason that I love the Dexcom for the lows um, the main reason is when I am sleeping I have been known to have a lot of scary lows you know as a ton of diabetics do while they're sleeping um, I can drop down to 30 40 50s without noticing and usually before the next time I would wake up just really low shaking like stuffing food into my mouth now with the Dexcom I have it set at 75 um, for my low alarm so when my blood sugar is 75 um, it will automatically alarm me now I love this it you can put the alarm on um, vibrate or loud or however you want the sound to be. I always have mine on vibrate. And then once it gets even lower, if you're in a deep sleep and your blood sugar drops to 55, then a loud alarm um, alerts you. So I love this so much. It has been a lifesaver when I'm sleeping. Um, if it wakes me up at 75, that's awesome. I know that I'm not like too bad of shaking and I can go downstairs and get some orange juice. Um, so that is really, the one of the main concerns that I had the low blood sugars and this is amazing and it catches I can catch my blood sugars um, even with the highs it's nice to see trends if my blood sugar is going up super high what it is staying at or you know what kind of foods make it go high low whatever so that is a main thing it's just all around a lifesaver second feature that I love about the Dexcom is the I spoke about this um, a little bit in the first one is the silent and loud option, the sound of the Dexcom. I love this because when I'm at work, I can have this on silent. So 
I don't have to be in the middle of a meeting or um, talking with someone and there's a huge loud alert. It can be on silent um, or I can have it also on my phone, which is nice. Um, it connects to an app on your iPhone or Android, I think, that they have this for. And I just love that, um, that feature. So then sometimes when I am sleeping, um, I do, or I'm like riding in the car, I love to put it on loud so that I can hear it, so that it alerts me that I know. But I really like the option of even just having vibrate because the vibrating option is um, pretty loud and so it is always nice to have those uh, alerts. The third pro for the Dexcom is the size. I love the size of the receiver. Um, I love the size of the um, G4 sensor and transmitter and I understand that the G5 transmitter is a little bit bigger than um, the G4, but I don't think it is too big in size um, as compared to an insulin pump or I have the Omnipod. So it's just a really, really nice size to have. You know, you can put it under your, on your stomach, under your shirts. Um, I put it on my legs sometimes and it's honestly, no one can see it. No one knows that it's there unless I have it visible. And so I really, really am, um, I love the size of it and the, the receiver, I just love it. Everything about it, um, it's perfect. So this is the receiver in comparison to an iPhone 5, if I think this is. Um, and it's super tiny. Uh, I also really like the graphics, like it's perfect coloring and um, there's just a bunch of different things you can do on the menu. So the one con that I have for the Dexcom is that the battery um, is a little bit of an issue at times. You have to actually plug the receiver into the wall to charge it. It has this tiny, I don't know if you can see that, tiny little spot um, and then you just plug it into the wall. That sometimes can be an issue if I, I travel a lot on the weekends and so I sometimes forget to bring the charger along, but usually I have it with me. This does last up to five days without charging, which is amazing. Um, so it's really not that big of an issue. Those are my pros and cons for the Dexcom. I hope that you found this video informative. A ton of pros, in my opinion, that come along with the Dexcom and how much just of a safety net it is and how much, you know, it really, really helps with stressful situations and it's just something, It's a, I would say it is a game changer in the world of technology with diabetes because, you know, before this, I went eight years without it and it was just always frustrating to not know, is my blood sugar rising quickly? Is it dropping low? You know, without having to finger prick all the time, which by the way, I do finger prick before meals, after meals and um, before exercise, after exercise, before bedtime, stuff like that, just to make sure. But this is usually really, really accurate. Um, I know some people have issues with accuracy, but in my opinion, I really don't ever have it. Um, it usually always matches up with my meter. So again, that's another little uh, pro in there. But yeah, I just, I honestly love the Dexcom. I believe everyone deserves to have the Dexcom. If you're thinking about the Dexcom, check it out. Um, I, before I started the Dexcom, I checked with my endocrinologist and they set up a week trial where I got to have my own Dexcom for the week and then try it out, wear it out, you know, see how I really liked it. And after that week was up, I was like, give me the paperwork for this. I have to have it. And then it took about a month or two to um, get my Dexcom in my hands. But other than that, Dexcom is amazing. The support, um, when you if you have questions or whatever, um, it's really easy to call in and replace sensors if anything happens within seven days, depending on your circumstances. So that is my video on the Dexcom. Um, I hope that you liked this video. Please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. You can find me on Instagram at one type of strength and my website is www.onetypeofstrength.com. There I have my blog. You can find out a little bit more about me. I always love hearing from others. So leave a comment below. What are your favorite things about the Dexcom? What would you change if you could? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.